Welcome back to First Take Math with Brian Thomas. Today's lesson, we're going to do a couple examples on solving equations that have two steps. So two-step equations, my strategy is going to be two-pronged. We're going to first use what we call the zero pair. You can also use the scale for that. And then our, our second step will be to multiply or divide strategy. So let's see how this plays out. So first example, we have 2x plus 3 is equal to 9. What we're going to do is try to get the x by itself. To do so, what we're going to do is focus on the zero pair part. So we want to get rid of this negative 3. So to get rid of that negative 3, we can use, to get rid of a positive 3, we can use a negative 3 to make that disappear. But to keep it balanced, we have to use its zero pair to keep it going. So then we have um, the zero pair will zero out. We have 2x is equal to then 9 and a negative 3 would end up being a 6. Once you're to this spot, 2 times what number is 6? You may be able to see that answer. 2 times 3 is 6, and you're done with the problem. If you can't see that, what you can do is work your way backwards towards the x. And since this is location, this is a signal to divide. So x is going to equal then 6 divided by 2, which would give me my 3. So my solution would be x equals 3. Again, you can also model this using a, a scale. So the 2x and the 3 are on one side, and the 9 is on the other side. And what I can do, let's see here, we'll have to use a little orange pan here. To get rid of the 3, I can use its zero pair, which is, is a negative 3. And we can kind of see that that negative 3 and that positive 3 are going to zero out for us. That's going to give me then my 2x is equal to then my 6. And then this tells me I can go backwards and use division to find our final answer. So x equals 6 divided by 2, which would then indeed give me my 3. So I could also model it like this. So if you like the traditional way of doing it, you just kind of bring it down like this. You also can just draw it on a scale and take it down in this step in this fashion. Let's look at one more example. I have x over 4 or x divided by 4 and negative 7 is equal to 3. Well, I, can see, I can't really see the answer very clearly here, but if I kind of clean this up by using some equation thinking, I may be able to see the answer a little bit better. So when I see this negative 7, what I can do is use its zero pair of adding a 7 to both sides. So what we do then see is these will then zero out. You have then x over 4 is equal to 10. Now what number divided by 4 is 10? Again, if you can't see that, we are allowed to go backwards and use multiplication. So we know that x has to equal then, and again we're working towards the x, so it's 10 times the 4. So x equals then our 40. So if you check that, 40 divided by 4 would indeed give me my 10. And 10 minus 7 does give me 3. So that problem does check out. So 40 would be my solution. And we can write it in a solution step form if we want to. So hopefully those two examples will get you going along. Uh, before I do close, I do want to go ahead and model this one using the scale method. Uh, so I can draw my scale. I have my x over 4 minus 7 is equal to 3. Again, the first thing we can do is we can zero out the 7 because we're trying to get the x by itself. So we pick up on that. That 7 and negative 7 will zero out. You have then x over 4 is equal to 10. And then this math just tells me that since this is division, I can go backwards and multiply to solve the equation. So x is going to equal 10 times 4, which x would equal then 40. So hopefully those two ways may ignite a strategy for the harder problems. This concludes our lesson on two-step equations.